Hi guys, welcome to another Bone Fragments video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the HPH 132nd scale B52 cockpit set. What we have here is the HPH models 132nd scale B52H cockpit set. Now, interestingly, this is just a cockpit set. There is no 32nd scale B52H that you can buy this as an additional set to upgrade your cockpit. So it's basically a standalone model. Now, this was developed from the um, HPH 148 scale B52. The detail that's in that cockpit set as part of the big 48 scale kit uh, was all done in 3D and so upscaling it into 32nd as a standalone kit wasn't too hard for them I imagine. So let's have a look what we get. So we've got a full set of colour instructions. Paint call out, so I've got old MRP. And we get external decals, we get the HGW fabric seat belts, edge frets, the cockpit parts, and just like the 48th, in fact it's probably the same kit, uh, instructions, um, call outs in both photos and 3D renders where the PE can be seen in the yellow colour. So it's really easy to see where parts go. And then we've actually got finished photographs. That's what your finished component looks like. Or if you have the over here, Danny Corman's modeling the B52H. The details, particularly in ejection seats. So there might be a good opportunity to use. Some of Annie's models, decals, and upgrade sets for switches in 32nd scale. So, uh, Tony, I dare say you need to do one of these models. That would be a tremendous achievement. Wouldn't they look fantastic with replaced 4K printed resin printed knobs and dials? Jump seat there. So they're the upper deck seats. The lower deck seats, the radar nav seats are different because these are actually downward ejecting seats. So they sit in the belly of the beast and those guys eject downwards. Either that or they can eject the seats, stand at the back while that happens and then bail out the whole instrument panel piece. 
Just look at the detail in that lower hatch. of flying on such a big aircraft. So this is actually the crew rest bunk. That's actually a thin mattress. Sits over there. So that part of the cockpit, upper deck. So now that's actually an area for getting some crew rest while you're on the long flights. All individually bagged parts. That's the ladder from getting it from the lower level to the upper level. Just trim that film off there. So that's another ladder. Crew entry hatch. components fire extinguisher and whatever a good aircraft needs a urinal ECM and the other parts to the yokes. Throttle quadrant. Side consoles. Detail on those sitting beside the seats. Those are individual seats, that's your seat cushions. Armrests for the seats. And this side we've got more of the chunky. Kids, upper flight deck base, bit of bulkhead. Lower floor. And then this is the upper floor. Big model this is going to build. This is the radar nav station down below. Lots of opportunity for super detail in there. And again, Annie's decals are there, gonna make a huge difference to something like that. Upper deck. Rear compartment. So this is the ECM officer and defensive systems 
and what also used to be the gunner's position. A lot of that is now removed. Now that the gunner is no longer in the H model. And lastly, the other top pieces from the some big chunks of resin. All beautifully cast. I haven't seen any air bubbles or anything. So this is the upper deck between the front and the rear. I believe these were all fuse panels. Lots of empty containers now. So so that is the HPH models B fifty two H one thirty second cockpit. Maybe this will start a new trend in purely cockpits. Because this time you'll better leave it open and see all of the components that you built into it and not sealed, sealed them into the model. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that. Oh, cost. Uh, I believe this is about 120 euros if you uh, don't buy the B-52. If you buy the B-52 itself, it's down to about 100 euros, maybe a little bit off. Um, I believe without... I think it was cockpit set 99 euros as a cost without the uh, VAT tax, so exported. But then I got stung for import duties and added another $280 onto the whole kit, all borders one. So, and of course, the Australian dollar is worth bugger all nowadays. So, but anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you're enjoying these uh, video uh, reviews we just started to do. Any questions, comments, please please feel free to leave a comment. And uh, like me and subscribe me if you'd like to see more. And uh, this is something you're interested in. Thanks, guys. Take care. G'day, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you know the drill. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe for more videos to help us grow the channel. Thanks, guys.